Like, I'm filming. Oh. <laughs> retouch tutorial for you guys so pay attention be on the lookout for that video it's going to be coming pretty soon and all of the um, answers to the questions that you, you guys have been asking me on Instagram and Facebook I'm going to be addressing those in the post I did have a lot of fun and I loved working with them and it went great so thanks for asking and then um, let's see what else oh and then the week after that was when we went camping for Memorial Day so I was gone that Monday and we took Darla, who is my vintage camper, out for a fun little family quick trip and I miss her. I forgot how much fun she is when kids are just like all weekend, thank you mommy for letting us take out Darla. It was so cute. So if you don't know what Darla is, it's my 1966 jet vintage travel trailer and when I was pregnant, I was eight months pregnant with Ivory, I did a full like gut, like remodel on her. And I'm thinking like, I felt like maybe not everybody wanted to know or cared, but if you guys want to see a post on like the whole process and transformation of Darla, then let me know. Cause I would be happy to post about it and um, show you kind of like my whole process and all the different supplies and paint and whatnot that I used on her. Um, it was definitely a labor of love for sure, but it was a great project and I love that my family and I get to use it all the time now. So um, that was fun. That was um, two weeks ago. And then this week or last week, I mean, we I was in Utah. I did a fun little shoot for Sense of Style and my friend Jen from Tater Tots and Jello. They are collaborating and I got to go up there and do some fun styling and I cannot wait until you guys see the cute product line that they come up with. If you like fruit and you like florals, you're going to die over this collection because it's just so colorful, so much crazy fun um, accessories and clothes that you're just going to eat up. So cute. Um, so anyways, I feel so bad that I've been so busy because it's really kind of taken up a lot of my time. I haven't really been able to do a video, so that's why... This is kind of like a recap vlog, and it seems like this summer is just going to keep going at that pace because i got lots of other stuff coming up. Um, let's see, July 8th and 9th, I'm going to be doing an online course with Creative Live, and it's going to be all about YouTube and how to use it to grow your business and to market yourself. You can watch it online. I think the day of the classes, it's free. Um, or you can purchase the class and watch it anytime. You can basically own it and download it and whatnot. So that'll be really, really fun. So anyways, oh, and this week, tomorrow, I will be at girls camp. I've been spending a lot, a lot of time planning and preparing that. So I'm going to take a bunch of youth out camping with my church. And it's going to be really fun. I anticipate lots of screaming and candy and junk food and late nights. And I cannot wait. So I will probably be off the grid for a couple days for that. I did have a fun question this week. Somebody asked me like if I know any good summer reads. So I thought I would do a Whippy Kate question. And I recently read a book that I feel like is, it should be mandatory. Everybody should read this book. It's life changing. It's called The Miracle Morning. It's like, I do Audible. You know, I love a good audio book. Um, and so it was like four hours and 22 minutes, so it's really fast read, but so incredibly just life-changing, I don't know how to explain it, but it's all about how to like take back control of your life and how to like start every day so that each day is like really 
productive, motivational, and successful. And he just has like case study after case study of people whose lives have just been changed and how they just totally love and live the miracle mornings. This book has got me so excited. I would love to do it with other people. It's like a 30 day challenge um, to kind of kickstart the rest of your life. So anybody interested in doing the challenge, raise your hands because we can totally be like a little virtual su support group or something. So I'm so excited. It's like, I look at my face. Can you see this? So excited. Can't hide it. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, I like cut all my hair off for summer. You guys saw that on Instagram, but I just, I got my color down and then I just wanted to show it off some more and I've been wearing, oh, I've been wearing like a nice little tuck. Got that little habit going, so I've been wearing lots and lots of ear cuffs. This is my fancy ear cuff for today. And I got it from Forever 21, so I'll put a link. But I think for the most part, that's it. Like, those have been like the lots of big, major, exciting events and things going on. But I forgot. Um, Today, I just did a pixie transformation on somebody, so stay tuned for that because I'm going to be sharing a really exciting before and after of a beautiful pixie that you're, you're going to want to see as well. That's all, guys. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching Mystery Monday. We will see you again next week. And that, my friends, is a wrap. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Boom. Down there.